Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing my first collab video. Woohoo! I'm doing it with the lovely Miss Melissa M who I was lucky enough to meet here on YouTube and Miss Melissa M is just the loveliest, sweetest, funniest and one of the kindest people um, that I've met. I am learning as I get to know her better and better here on YouTube. She has a wonderful beauty channel. I am going to link her information below. She came up with this outstanding idea of a video for us to do together today called the 10 best hair products for fabulous looking hair in any age. And so hopefully you guys will check out her channel and um, enjoy it as much as I do. She puts little quotes at the end of her videos. I can't remember now if it's at the end or at the beginning, but they always crack me up. They're always funny. They're always witty. And I just appreciate her sense of humor and she's just a lovely person. So check out her channel. I'm gonna leave the link for it below. And without any further ado, we will get into hair products. So I kind of have a lot to share with you today and that is because my hair can be either straight or curly depending on how I style it. If you've seen other videos before, you might remember me saying that for the first 20 years of my life, my hair was always curly because growing up, I had very curly hair. There were no chi irons, there were no flat irons. And you know, I sometimes blow dried my hair when I was in high school, but it never looked like a blowout from the salon when I was in high school. And so usually I just put some kind of Aussie, you know, crimping spray into my hair and I scrunched it and I diffused it. And it was in the 80s and 90s when big hair was in and I just had big curly hair. When I finally graduated from high school and went to college, that's when straight irons started coming out. That's when I started getting reverse perms where they like per put the perm solution in your hair, but they straighten it. And so your hair is straight instead of curly. And my hair was more manageable if I wanted to do it straight. And so from the age of about 18 to about a year ago, I wore my hair straight in some form or fashion like I'm wearing it now. Um, and I flat ironed it. So. A few, about nine months ago, I ended up getting a haircut that was very layered and very short and it just did not suit the hairstyle for me to straighten my hair at that time. So for about the last year, I have been wearing my hair curly again for the first time in, in you know, 20 years. And although I liked it, I do prefer my hair straight. So as soon as I was able to grow out that do, I started flat ironing it again. And we are back to my straight do, which I'm very happy about. So I wanted to talk to you about some of the products I use in my hair when I straighten it and the products and how I do my hair and have been doing my hair this last year when it has been curly. So the first product I wanna to talk to you about is this Redken Anti-Snap. I have gone through several bottles of this and you know, I think hairdressers all love this because it is a strengthening, um, I think it's a protein, I'm not a hair, I am no hairdresser, but I think it's got a lot of proteins in it that help keep your hair strong so that when you style it, you don't get snappage at the ends. So I always put this on my hair right when I get out of the shower, whether it's curly or whether it's straight. It's pretty reasonably priced. I think it's probably $24 or so on Ulta's website. And so I always use this anti-snap stuff so that it keeps my hair from not getting as many split ends as it would be with all the straightening that I do. Now, when I do my hair straight, the next thing that I put in my hair is this Chi Keratin Oil Infusion. And I love this because number one, it's got keratin in it, which is supposed to help build the proteins of your hair and strengthen your hair. And I also feel like it's got a little bit of silicone in it. So it helps my hair be a little bit more smooth once I have dried it and once I start to flat iron it. So this is a really good serum that you put on your hair when it's still wet before you plan on straightening it with a flat iron. So that is the second product. I just put about a dime size into my hand. I rub it around. I just put it all up in my hair and then I dry it. Just, I run, put the hair dryer on it and I just dry it and it's really frizzy by the time that's over. So once my hair is dried with a hair dryer and it's super duper frizzy, I take this 
Chi 44 Iron Guard that I've mentioned on my channel before, and you're supposed to spray it on dry hair. And what I like about this spray is it is a heat protectant, number one. So before I start to flat iron my hair, I've put a heat protectant on it, but it's also got hold in it. It's not a hairspray, but it certainly styles my hair so that I don't have to keep running the straight iron over it over and over and over again. And so I really like it for that reason as well. So I'll spray this all in my hair when it's dry and it you know, kind of feels sticky for a minute and then it dries on your hair. And that's when I start to um, flat iron my hair. So what I wanted to show you is the flat iron that I got very recently, but that I'm loving. For many years, I used a Chi and um, the Chi that I had originally that I had probably for a decade did not have temperature control in it and that and then that died and I bought another chi and it also did not have temperature control on it so I decided at that time to buy a good hair day um, flat iron from Ulta I had a 20% off coupon and so I figured it was a good time to try it and I bought this $250 flat iron which I'm actually even embarrassed to admit and if I tell you guys this thing broke within six months of my buying it I was so frustrated I didn't even think it was that great. I just, I don't even know why I kept it after I bought it, frankly, because it was no better than my Chi. It was $250 and then it broke. And then I was really ticked off. And I went to the Elta counter and I'm like, listen, this thing is $250. I expect its longevity to be greater than six months and I really need to have a credit. And they were kind enough at the Ulta counter to give me a credit, even though it had been greater than their three month return limit. So I went ahead and took that back. And then I bought this Babeless Pro and it's called like Nano Titanium and it's got these titanium plates in it and it has got a temperature control. And I have been absolutely loving this flat iron. I love it better than the Chi. I certainly love it better than the Good Hair Day flat iron. And I like that I can control the temperature on it. I use the setting at 350 degrees. Now, if you're a person that's got naturally straight hair, I don't think you need to use that kind of temperature. I have very curly, frizzy hair. I wouldn't really say it's coarse. It's probably somewhere in between coarse and fine but I certainly need some heat to get those curls out of it. So I really love this flat iron. I recommend this to anybody that flat irons their hair on a you know regular basis. And I would say that when you are flat ironing your hair, if you're using that, the key to getting good results is taking a very, very thin, thin section of hair. And I know it seems like it's gonna take forever if you take a small section of hair, but it won't. And as you curl your hair, pull it out and then down. And what that will do is by pulling it out, by doing a small section of hair, you're decreasing the amount of frizz that you're gonna have when you're done flat ironing it. And by pulling it out like this, you are giving volume to your hair at the root so that your hair is not like flat on your face. So for those of you, if you want volume, if that's what you're going for, kind of pull it up and out and then down, and that will give your hair some really good volume. Um, and be sure to use little pieces so that the heat is really touching every strand. And I have just found that this flat iron, I love it. I feel like it makes my hair, I only have to do it once or twice on each strand. I'm not doing it like four or five times on each strand. And it makes my hair so smooth and so silky. So I cannot recommend this Babeless Pro enough. I love it. So that is the next of my um, hair products that I highly, highly recommend. Now, once I am finished flat ironing my hair, I get all of these little flyaways on the top. And I don't know if that's just from hair breakage or that's probably what it is, hair breakage from all the styling. And so what I use is this So Silk um, kind of dimethicone, smoothing stuff and I put a little tiny bit of it on my hand I rub it all through my hair now I'm gonna see if I can link this for you guys below but I just want to say anything that's kind of like got this silk that says silk that's got like silicone in it is going to have the same effect on smoothing your hair so look for anything that's got silk in the ingredients and you'll probably get the same results I bought this at my gro local grocery store and it was so inexpensive I know that um, Aveda makes one of these, although I doubt the Aveda one has um, silicone in it. It may, but um, 
another brand that's supposed to have a really good smooth out um, kind of silk drop is, um, you know what, I'm gonna list them below. There are a couple of similar products to this that I will list below for you that are supposed to be really good at just smoothing out those flyaways that have silicone in them and they just work really well for that purpose. Another product that I use, I mean, I use a lot of products in my hair, you guys. My hair, honestly, the hardest part of YouTube for me is my hair because during the week, I don't really style my hair because I wear a hat all day when I'm in the operating room. And so there's just no need to flatten my hair out like this when it's during the week. So if I wash my hair during the week, I just leave it curly. I diffuse it with a hair dryer. I'm about to show you the products I use on it in a minute, but I diffuse it and then I just put it back up in a knot. So I usually don't do all of this stuff to my hair, but on the weekends when I'm getting ready and going, I put a lot of product in my hair because otherwise it's just like frizzy or I get flyaways and I want it to look really healthy and shiny. So the next thing I wanna show you is this Chi Shine Infusion. I love this stuff. I've been using this since I was a resident, so like for 10 years. Number one, it helps your hair just look super shiny. Once you finish totally styling your hair, you've put all your products on it and you're done. You just wanna spray this all over your hair and it just gives your hair this beautiful, gorgeous shine and this illusion that you have super duper healthy hair even when you don't. So I really like this Shine Infusion Shine Spray. That's exactly what it does. It just makes your hair shine. And I use both of these together. The, um, the silicone one and the spray shine together and it just tames the flyaways and makes my hair look shiny. Okay, another little trick that I use with my hair. I have these little tiny hairs like right at the front of my head. I'm sure you guys have seen them sticking up before in videos and they are hard to tame. I don't know why, but even when I flat iron them, they wanna like stick up, they wanna like do their own thing. They're just annoying. And they're kind of this part of this swoop that I have in the front of my face. And they're, they come right from the root and they're always sticking up. So one thing that I have learned is that if you take a clear um, like uh, mascara, like this, and you just run it along your flyaways, it will really nicely kind of mat them down and stop them from like sticking up so you so you don't have spikes in your hair. And so this is one thing that I just can't live without. I use it all the time whenever I'm going out so that I don't have little spikes in my hair sticking up. So if you are a person who has baby hairs or little spiky hairs from like breakage, give this a shot. Just a clear mascara and it I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised. So on to my next product. I have a few more than 10, by the way. This is Style Edit Root Spray. And I know you guys have heard me talk about this on my channel before, but I have a lot of grays and I don't always have the time to get to the salon to get my roots done. And so this spray, which is very inexpensive, you can just spray along your root line. It covers up those grays so that you're not like, just like screaming, like I need to go to the salon. And I tried this, this last week, I put this on my hair, I think Sunday, and I didn't wash my hair until Thursday because I do not have oily hair. So I only wash my hair like two or three times a week. And it totally stayed in my hair the whole week. It looked like I didn't need any hair dye. So it really sticks around. And I didn't see any black color transferring to my pillowcase, even though I slept with it. And I can't say enough about this product. It is so awesome. Totally covered up the grays. Didn't make my hair feel weird. The Madison Reed powder that I had been using before I found this on my roots made my hair feel more like I had a product in it and it did get on my pillow. And I really didn't like that. So this doesn't feel like anything in my hair, but it covers up those grays, doesn't transfer to clothing or pillows or anything if you're not washing your hair right away and does a fabulous job of covering up those gray roots and it comes in a variety of colors. So I will link that below. And then there is dry shampoo. So when I leave my hair for, you know, three days and I haven't washed it and I just want it, whoops, there goes my hair, my straightener. When I wanna give my hair a little bit more volume, you know, like I said, it's not very oily, but it does definitely get flatter after a couple of days. So when I wanna give it a little bit of volume, I just take this Dove dry shampoo, which is so good. And I just shake it up and I just lift up my hair like this and I spray it like that because it does have a little bit of a white cast. So I don't wanna spray it where you're gonna be able to see it. So I just pick up a little bit of my hair and I spray it underneath 
and not only does it absorb up what excess oil I do have, but it also gives my hair great volume. So I really like that. It's a drugstore product. It doesn't cost a lot, and it's just a really nice dry shampoo that I've been using for a long time. I like it a lot. And then I wanted to give you a um, hairspray option. I really like this Kenra hairspray, um, especially for this front part of my hair where I have those kind of spiky hairs that always stand up. This is a great hairspray. I feel like it doesn't give you like helmet head. Once you spray it, it holds, but it's a soft hold. It doesn't feel like uh, strawy. It doesn't feel like you're snapping your hairs. You can brush through your hair once this is in there. The one thing I will say about this, and this may be true for any hairspray nozzle, but the hairspray will like kind of stick on the nozzle right here, and then I'll get like uneven spray. So I do have to run it under hot, like boiling water for a few minutes every week or so just to get what's built up on the little nozzle out of there so that when it sprays it's an even spray all over my head so Kendra volume spray super hold you can get it at Ulta it lasts a long time it is a great hairspray so those are the products that I use on my hair when it is straight. It's ridiculous as I'm looking at it how many products I use on my hair when I straighten it out but it seems to work and it doesn't seem like even after a few days my hair isn't feeling gross it's not feeling nasty from all those products so you know i think those are really good quality products so what do i do when my hair is curly so when it's the middle of the week or the middle of the summer and we're swimming a lot and i just do not have it in me to flat iron my hair well i do the same thing i put in the redken anti-snap and then after I put that in, I put in this Weedod. I think that's how it's pronounced. I love this thing. I got this in a birch box um, probably a year ago. And I think I have tried every curl cream there is on the planet, you guys. I've tried Diva Curl. I've tried Bedhead. I've tried Aveda products. And I think this Weedod is, if I'm pronouncing it right, is a great curling cream. It's called the Curl Quencher. It really takes the frizz out of my curls. It really, if I scrunch it and then I diffuse it, it gives my hair a good body. And I just think it is a beautiful product. Now, when, if you see some of my videos from when my hair was curly, once I have curled my hair and I've diffused it, what I go back and I do is it's still kind of frizzy on the top and the curls aren't really beautifully shaped curls. So what I do is I go back through just on the top layers of my hair and I take my curling iron, my round iron, and I just take the little pieces of hair and I just curl them around the iron like this, curling back away from my head. And I do that all around the front and the crown of my head. And that's what gives me that really more, um, it's just less random curls. They're more perfected curls. And I just do that using this tapered curling iron. See how it's a little skinnier on this end than this end. And same thing on this side. I just curl it away from my head and it just gives more perfected curls. It takes away that frizz that I get on the top by running a curling iron through the top of it. And it just makes those curls more manageable. And then when I'm done with that, I put on this Mizani smoothing oil. Now, I don't typically use this Mizani oil when my hair is straight because I don't want my hair straight to look oily and I also don't want it to be weighed down. But when my hair is curly, I do want it to be weighed down because when it's curly and I diffuse it, it's big. And so this Mizani oil is great for two reasons. Number one, it weighs down my hair a little bit and takes away the frizz. And trust me, there is a lot of frizz with the curls. And then secondly, it gives my hair instant shine. So it takes away the flyaways and the frizz and it gives my hair this beautiful shine. It's slightly weighed down and it is just a great product. It is very thick. So, but I love it. And I haven't found anything for my curly hair that really helps with the flyaways and the frizz when it's curly and not flat ironed that works as well as this, yeah, I'm saying it right, Mizani. Um, product and I am sure you can find this online so I will find that for you and link it below um, and then the other thing I do when my hair is curly is I just flat iron this very front part just so that it looks a little bit more controlled in the front and then I'll curl the bottom part so that it's kind of flat right up against my head but curled below 
and that just looks a little bit more finished, a little bit more put together than if I just put the curling gel in my hair and diffused it and, and left, where it would be a little bit more wild and not as controlled. So those are my top 10 or 12 or 14 products that I use in my hair, depending on whether I style it straight or whether I style it curly. And I really hope that you guys can all learn something from this video um, because many of you may have curly hair, many of you may have straight hair. And, you know, I think for those of us who have really difficult to control and style hair, we really need to help each other find the best ways to have a good hair day. So I hope that helped. Thank you guys so much for coming and visiting my channel. If you are new to my channel and you have come over from Miss Melissa M's channel, please subscribe, hit the little bell that lets you know when I post a new video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your video. Out of, thank you so much for taking time out of your video today. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule today to come watch my video. Be sure to go to Miss Melissa M's channel and check out her channel and subscribe there as well. And I will look so forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.